Hey everybody, uh, it's Miss Digi here with my daughter, Aria. Aria, and today we're gonna do a read aloud, and I'm gonna show you how you can make it fun at home with your kid. So this story is called Mac and Cheese. Aria, what do you see on the cover of this book? Two cats. Two cats. Okay, what do you think their names are? Mac and Cheese. Mac and Cheese, good job. Macaroni likes to eat. He isn't very picky, but cheese will never take a bite of anything that's icky. This fish is cold and very old. I do not like fish old and cold. But Macaroni eats the fish, then licks his lips and says, delish. Nice day, says Mac. Cheese says, too hot. Let's swim, says Mac. Cheese says, let's not. Uh, what is cheese? Is he happy or is he grumpy? Grumpy. Grumpy. And how do you think Mac is feeling? Happy. Happy, right? Macaroni finds a hat. It is very blue and very flat. I like this hat, says Mac. Do you? What do you think cheese is going to say? Uh, no. No. Cheese frowns and says, too flat, too blue. Too cold, too flat, too this, too that, too old, too blue, too, too, too. Oh. Macaroni likes to jump. You think cheese likes to jump? No. Nope, cheese just sits there like a lump. Macaroni likes to play. Cheese says, Mac, please go away. When Macaroni sings a song, cheese will never sing along. Mac likes to jump and play and sing, but cheese does not like anything. Hmm. Which one of these would you rather be friends with? With macaroni? Yeah. Why? Because he's more happier. Yeah, he's happier. Bouncing, nope. Pouncing, nope. Flipping, nope. Skipping rope? Where'd he go? Nope. nope. Mac thinks chasing mice is fun and she says, wake me when you're done. What's wrong with you, Mac, Mac asked one day. Why don't you ever want to play? Why won't you pounce or bounce or jump? Or why are you such a grumpy grump? Hmm. I like to flip and skip and sing, but cheese, you don't like anything. How do you think that macaroni is feeling about cheese right now? Mm -hmm. He's confused. Why don't you like anything? She says, it's true, I am a grump. I do not like to skip or jump or bounce or pounce or swim or play or chase a mouse around all day. The only thing I like to do is sit here quietly with you. Aww. Mac feels so good when he hears that. He jumps for joy and throws his hat. The wind blows, away it goes. Oh no, there goes my hat, cries Mac. She says, Mac, I'll get it back. To get the hat, she has to pounce and run and jump and swim and bounce. He has to skip and flip, and then he has to do it all again. Uh, Cheese gets the hat and brings it back and gives the hat back to Mac. Mac jumps for joy and shouts, oh boy, how will I ever thank you, Cheese? And Cheese replies, let's close our eyes and just do nothing, please. Now, how do you think, let's go back here. How do you think that Mac is feeling about cheese right now. Happy. Happy, because now he what? He understands him, right? Yeah. Do you think that they'll be able to be better friends? Yeah. Great. Now, that was an easy way to do a read aloud and ask questions before and during and after reading. You want to make sure that your child is following along and understanding what they're reading. And you can just ask simple questions about what happened and at the very end, older students should be able to retell the story to you as well. So you can just ask them, tell me about your favorite part or tell me what happened in the story um, after they finished reading. Mostly, the most important thing, have fun. Reading is fun. Children love reading. Enjoy it with them. And remember, reach out if you have any questions.